When you are sharing a room or a space with your child, you start getting into the rhythm of how your child sleeps. Good day C3 parents, I'm your coach Karin Pito and welcome to another conversation. If you're new here and visiting us, please remember to subscribe, hit ring that bell so you get notifications and if you find value in this video, please hit that like button. So what are we going to discuss today? Today we are going to talk about the seven safe sleep coasts sleeping rules so basically co-sleeping can either be in the bed or room sharing where the infant or baby actually shares the same room as their parents which usually the sharing room sharing is the ideal sleeping space or sleeping arra arrangement for a baby because they actually need that company of a parent all right so let's talk about the seven rules the first rule is the parent or both partners sharing that room has to be non-smoking or that room has to be a non-smoking room. Secondhand smoke can actually cause harm to baby and if you are a bed sharing family that means that in, and one of you are a, sm a smoker, the way that smokers sleep and how their sleep rhythm looks can actually cause harm to baby um, and they might sleep too deeply and you can roll over baby. So if you are a smoker and you want a room share, make sure that that room, first of all, nobody smokes in that room. Second of all, no clothing or material that actually has smoke on it, it goes into that room. And thirdly, that baby then sleep in a bassinet or a basket or a crib in the same room, but never on the same bed as you. The second rule is you have to be sober. Your cognitive function cannot be impaired. Someone that has consumed alcohol that bed shares actually sleep so deep and move around once again can roll over baby or can cause harm to baby if you sleep in the same bed. Once again, baby can sleep in a cot if you have consumed or basket if you have cons consumed alcohol but usually for any child's safety best be that the parent or the caretaker is not mentally impaired regarding substances like alcohol or any other substance they, they need to be cognitively aware because what happens is um, when you are sharing a room or a space with your child you start getting into the rhythm of how your child sleeps and if you are impaired you cannot get into that rhythm and you will miss quite a few cues and you could harm possibly harm your baby so once again then ideally in a crib or a bassinet that is outside of the bed so that you cannot cause harm to your child the third one is preferably a breastfeeding parent all right so what happens is with breastfeeding the the infant and the the, the breastfeeding parent actually become gets into a rhythm of in a cycle of when baby wants to feed Usually also if you do bed share the breastfeeding parent would usually lie in a cradle hold picture there and That cradle hold actually makes it possible or prevents that the parent will roll over or cause harm Preferably the, the breastfeeding parent will be in between the other parent and the infant because there is a different kind of rhythm between the parent and the infant that, that breastfeeds and the parent, the non breastfeeding parent. If you still feel not comfortable having baby in the bed when you are breastfeeding, breastfeed baby and then move baby over to a bassinet or a crib. Ideally speaking, the crib or the bassinet should be the same level as the bed where you can put, like, lift a little railing when you move baby over. So it just eases that wake up and breastfeeding and moving away, baby away from you process without having to get up and pick up and lay, lay down and because that picking up motion and all of that sometimes can make baby awake or get them alert and then the whole journey starts all over again so ideally um, on a surface or in a space where you can actually move baby away from you to have baby safely in the same room as you also a very important one and that is number four this infant or baby has to be full term preterm babies are far more fragile preterm babies and our relationship with them 
for some other reason it really actually is more dangerous for a preterm baby to bed share or co-sleep then a preterm baby or baby that is not full term has to sleep in a bassinet or a crib or a some other form of cradle but you can still share the room and I will at the end of this conversation actually go into a little bit of detail of why it is important to share a room with our infants and how important it is for their develop development. The fifth one, baby has to sleep on their back. Now ideally speaking, we've all known that it's ideal that a baby sleep on their back or on their side, but if we bed share on the side can be dangerous, so baby has to sleep on their, on their back or otherwise baby sleeps on their back in the crib. The sixth one, they have to be lightly dressed, especially if they are in the same bed as us. Our body heat, um, all the heat of the possible blankets and things can actually overheat our children. So they have to be appropriately dressed for the night time and for that kind of scenario. Obviously when they sleep in a crib, they're separated from that heat, then you can dress them as per usual, but usually a few layers less um, so that they are comfortable and that they, because they are snuggling against us when they do bed share. And then lastly, a safe surface. And I cannot stress this one too much. So number seven is a safe surface. Scattered pillows, run around, run and mill, blankets, those kind of things is a suffocation hazard. All the cribs, the bumpers and those things has to be outside of the crib. It shouldn't be inside the crib. So please ensure that you actually don't have that kind of clutter in the crib or in your bed space. So ideally speaking, once again, baby actually sleeps on the side of the bed or the edge of the bed. Um, so I have something that protects them from rolling off when they start, you know, when they're able to start rolling. Um, but they, they shouldn't have any fluffy things that they can put their faces in and suffocate. So here's the nice thing. When our kids are capable of rolling themselves over, so if they roll themselves over in their sleep onto their tummy, it is okay and it is safe for baby then to sleep on their tummy. Why do I keep on going on about room sharing? Now infants are really reliant on their caretakers to survive and if we put them in nighttime in a separate room it actually increases their separation anxiety it actually increases their anxiety because they feel left alone so ideally speaking they feel safer they feel more attached and they feel better cared for when they share a room with their parents because when they wake up the parent actually, the, especially the primary caregiver, is so in tune with baby that the primary caregiver will wake up with baby and it's much easier then to parent and everybody all around gets more sleep and gets more rest. Especially since it's very normal and natural for a child to only really start sleeping through and sleeping through is viewed as seven hours in one stretch at the age of the average age of three. So, we're going to have to find ways that everybody in the household gets as much sleep as possible during the night. Guys, please stay safe. Hit that like button. Let me know what you think. Comment down below and I will chat to you next time. And remember to subscribe.